it's kind of nice to come up close and see it again. I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> Since I was a young child, I was always interested in making things, so very tactile kinds of things. I thought of myself as a still life painter for a long time. I moved to Tulsa and I started becoming interested in the landscape and I was doing a lot of collages in the studio, uh, but I was finding these street scenes that were interesting to me. Street scenes kind of became like a stage set where I could watch things happen. I guess to me, the, these ordinary places are sort of extraordinary. So I like to set up there and just observe them. When the collage first started, it was probably, you know, this big, you know, in here. And I just kept stretching out. I would say I'd probably do like 98% of the work on site, 99% of the work maybe on site. Every once in a while, I'll come back to the studio and I'll say, well, I could add another strip of paper here or there, you know. I've got a homemade easel. Uh, it's just basically... Uh, a sheet of plywood with legs, and I, this is my truck. I throw it in the back of the truck, and I drag it over. I've got a table, uh, a bucket of tools, uh, um, a gallon of glue, those sorts of things, and I just set up and start, start working. I almost become part of the neighborhood, because uh, people walk by every day. And after a while, you get into conversations with people. You know, I don't know what's going to happen each day. I don't know who's going to come and go. I don't know what the light's going to be like. All those things are interesting to me. I'm going to come back and we're going to have a class, a collage class. I've asked to work with a model. Uh, I thought that might be an interesting subject matter for students to uh, engage in the collage process. I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time here uh, with the collection, but also with students.